A man using a magnet in a creek may have found new evidence in a nine year old double homicide case. Hello and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Frank Malloy. Since 2015, we have been covering the deaths of Bud and June Runyon. They are the Cobb County couple allegedly killed in Telfair County after being lured there to buy a car. Camilla Williams went to Telfair County and spoke with the former sheriff who got a call about a surprise discovery. There was a dive team, I'm told, that, that came out that GBI requested to come out and dive the creek. Chris Steverson watched GBI investigators last Tuesday at this creek on Old Prison Camp Road. He says the double homicide of Bud and June Runyon was his biggest case in eight years as Telford County Sheriff. We don't see uh, a lot of cases uh, like this. And it was a surprise to the man who found the evidence. The individuals uh, who were out here doing the magnet fishing uh, contacted me and when they described to me what they had had found, uh, I, I asked them to stand by and I immediately contacted GBI. Steverson says on April 14th, the man found a rifle magnet fishing in the creek. He couldn't get a hold of the Telford County Sheriff's Office, so he called Steverson, the former sheriff. He asked the GBI Eastman office to send an agent to get the rifle. Last Wednesday afternoon, the man went back and found a pocketbook in the creek. It appears to include the Runyon's driver's licenses and credit cards. So you can't confirm someone was magnet fishing and they found evidence related to this case? Yes. I thought someone needed to be here, some professional needed to be here uh, that could maintain the integrity of that evidence until it could be uh, collected and processed by a professional. Steverson isn't the sheriff and he says he tried to involve the Terrefer County Sheriff's Office. And the sheriff's investigators and um, for for whatever reason, there, there was not a response. Severson says this new evidence could help the GBI build a stronger case. I'm glad that it has uh, finally been discovered and, uh, and, and the family will, will be able to have that closure. In Telford County, Camila Williams, 13 WMAZ News. Oconee County District Attorney Tim Vaughn says he hopes towns can go to trial in August or September. We reached out to Sheriff Sim Davidson. He referred questions on the case to the GBI and we're still wait. The GBI says the gun was actually found on April 13th. It was a 22 caliber rifle on Tuesday, April 16th. A bag containing the driver's licenses and credit cards belonging to the Runyons was found.